side on Anderson so that she doesn't get cut out and shifted further back down the group. There they are. Look a little bit uncomfortable, especially Kisley. There we go. There's a bunch Straight of away. in the middle. And a Look at the two right in the middle there. Blue and red side by side. Somebody in the white boat this side. That's four, five, six is Rebecca Mann. She has gone off like a rocket. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Four, six, nine from Portugal. Maria Ray. Now, I'm questioning myself now. Was Maria Ray the winner of the junior women's race earlier this I'm weekend? I'm going to have to go back to the books. I'm, I am going to go back. Van der Kisley, there she is in shot in her red boat. And Melinda Anderson, that's the race that everybody's going to be looking at. And they've immediately gone to the front. Anderson is the one that's ma managed to get her nose ahead. On the way down, for those of you that are watching for the first time, those are the Finnish boys. No, it was Gomez who won the juniors, so we're out of touch there. Maria Ray did well in the short course. But there's Anderson. There's Mann to her left. Uh, Osa. Kisley in the red boat just to her right. Yeah, Osa in the black boat to the left. In the green boat in the middle. I think that's... Uh, actually, I don't know who that is, so I'm going to keep quiet for now. Um, usually a green boat is Bedox, but I can't see from the overhead shot. Likely to be Kahalmi in the red boat going solo on the left-hand side of your picture. Now just out of shot. So yeah, it is Bedox in the green boat. Man, Kisley, Anderson, Ray. Great start from the Australian Rebecca Mann. And it's two big laps before we get to that first portage. And it's a good across comes Kahalmi. This is going to confuse things slightly. So strong in the short course, Kahalmi. Here goes the group change. Up the side comes the Spaniard. Iratioso. And Anderson takes the lead again, going back through the field, the green boat of Bedox. But still a good solid group. They'll reform slightly. There's a gap behind Kahalmi there that needs filling from someone. It's Bedox who's got the opportunity to get in there, but she's fighting uphill at the moment. She just can't quite get over that hill behind behind those boats. Still not there. Still not there. Oh, that must be absolutely heartbreaking for us. She's just half a length behind where she needs to be, but between her and where she needs to be is a big mountain. She might be there now, finally getting a bit of relief. What did we do before the drone shot gave us the ability oh, it's to, marvelous, to pry in every aspect of this race? It is brilliant. You can see the group shapes. You can see the dance as the group changes shape. It's... Uh, it's such a brilliant and the best thing you, well, you see exactly tool. where the wave is yeah. as well it's so we've got anderson kisley kahalmi osa ray from portugal man from australia milova from czech republic bedox in that green boat from serbia and cessna from portugal from portugal from, from poland. poland somewhere in there also we just saw it in shot the one dangling off the back could well be burkett to that right hand side Milova in the blue shirt at the back of the screen, just behind Mann. Osa in the black boat. Kahalmi in the burgundy boat. Anderson and Kisley very easily visible. And Ray 469 on the far side. That's good for a Saturday morning, burgundy. Do you know, I color code, you know, I'm, you got red I'm very familiar with the Dulux color chart. Oh, I see. Yeah. You're that strange guy that invents names for paint for, colors. For paint colors. It's you. That's my job. Right. <laughs> So a big bunch heading down. It's one full lap with no portage. They'll then complete the second lap, and at the end of that lap, they'll come in for the portage. One point interesting, Ivan, we had some disqualifi disqualifications yesterday for paddlers going through the finish line on return laps. On the way from the start down to the first turn can, there are no rules. Course, you yeah. can pick any line. And a lot of the training teams have worked out where the current is. Is that Burkett in the, with the green sleeves, I think? It may just be. Just getting good. There's all sorts going. There's the pole is in all sorts of trouble at the back there. 4.72 and 7.3. That's a Hashi and Hughes. 
They're not mixing it with the front runners, but they're working together. Yellow boat on the far side, Russell. Uh, not Russell, Johnson, sorry. Sorry, oh, that's going to get me shot at home. <laughs> Melissa Johnson just making her way into a comfortable position in that group. And I don't expect to see much muscle flexing going on in this first lap. It's settled into might, quite a handy front bunch might here. Not, I might not be right on that. Anyway, that's the Slovakian, actually. It's not... It's, it, so well, it's, I, I completely fumbled that whole... You handed me a pass, Dave, by pointing at the screen. I was under pressure to name the athlete. There was a bead of sweat on your I, forehead and you I missed it. absolutely... Yeah messed up so just to remind everybody who's watching on the live stream morning 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 wherever you are maybe it isn't morning maybe it's another time of day but uh, good to have you on board your comments are gold so please feel free to chip them in i know leila so hughes had all her supporters were out in full vamos cry yesterday keep them coming today four six three with the green sleeves wasn't burkett but no it's christy boats, mckenzie burkett two boats to her right in the other south african boat so green sleeves for the viewer is Mackenzie. No sleeves is Burkitt. That's how we're going to identify the South African paddlers. And Melissa Johnson out top of the screen there in that group led by the blue boat. I must admit, Ivan, listening to the chatter ahead of this race, it's been building up to being a clash of the, of the Giants. There's been a nervous anticipation and I, a real I'm buzz ahead of this showdown. And I think this, what we're seeing at the moment, which is very settled, but nobody's starting to huff and puff at this stage. There's, it's a serious race. This. I, I'm going to put um, Kahalmi in that battle of the Giants. I it's get not, you. It's not a two-horser. And then the Portuguese also super strong. Two South Africans just dangling on the back of that group as we come into the turn. It's going to be a, oh, Ooh, what you don't need is someone putting their paddles down and braking. That is a nervous, nervous paddler, Bedox. We saw her get in the portage on the short course and she looked like that, jittery. And that's, <laughs> this isn't the place for jitters. You have to keep moving. You can't have that nervous support stroke because there are people coming behind you. And we've seen in other races, something happens in front, there's a knock from behind, and there's been penalties given for, for knocks from behind. But that was poor. She's still, she's still stuttering in the back there. She's getting pinballed right back through the group. You know, it's, it's very harsh to say, especially about a female, but she's not as young as she used to be, and stability does go. It does go. And she might be at that stage where she's just not got the confidence anymore. Van der Kisley sitting in the front there was telling me that during her training, and she's done extensive training here, she just said it took a long time to settle onto the feel of this water. And there is a thing called water feel and whether your boat choice is right for the way you paddle yeah. and the way you sit in the, in the boat. So we've got seven in the front group there. Kisley, Anderson, Ray, Mann, Kahalmi, Osa and Milliver. That's our front group. And it looks like that group's going to go away. Looks like that second group, which contains... There's two South Africans, Dan two Danes, and the, well, Serbians in there somewhere are going to have to do a lot of work to catch this front group now. So seven. Van der Kisley, the defending champion up at the front with Melina Anderson sitting on her left. Kahalmi just on Anderson's left, man of Australia, came out of the blocks like a scalded cat sitting just behind Anderson. Spain. You see the speed chart there, it sort of jiggle, jiggle, jiggles on the 15 line, then it goes down to the 10. That's the difference in flow. The big jump drop down is around the turn, and you can see how much the flow affects their overall speed. That's how much the river's flowing. That's why they're going up the right-hand side of the river as close to the edge as they can. The nearer the edge, the less the flow. 
and you can see it almost yeah in a line on there you've got the smooth dark bit to the right of the ripply mm -hmm. fuzzy bit and it's that smooth dark bit that you want to be aiming for when you go upstream so Ray's not leading it's Van der Kisley that's more like it Van der Kisley is in the red K1 at the front the Portuguese have been really strong out here they've got a tiny team and I think they've you know, just looking at their results it seems they've only sent people here who've got a medal winning chance they've got you know they've got a lot more paddlers at home than they brought they didn't have K2s in the junior ladies even though they won the junior ladies K1 so they've been really picky about who they sent whether that's a political decision a financial a decision whatever decision, it is yep. but you know now that if you see a Portuguese person oh my word it's Dave's birthday and we've just had a delivery <laughs> and it's it says 90 on it he's 90 today oh they put, the, they put the candle upside down sorry it's a 60 i will beat you roughly it's my 60th not my 90th you've been there before me i can't believe they put the candle upside down <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, Milova at the back of that group, Ray second in line behind Kisley, Anderson, Anderson you have to feel is just waiting for a portage where she can run off and leave the others, she's, well, she was she's marking time until that She was magnificent arrives. on the portage, Yeah, but it's going to see if Wanda is going to match her stride for stride and but we, we talked about it, I, I can't remember whether we talked about it over breakfast, over dinner, or just pillow talk, I can't remember Dave, but we, we chatted about it. The, you can only in these things play the game that you're handed. The game now is that you have to cover Anderson on those portages. Yep. That's the only job you've got, and if you get away with Anderson, you're going to come first or second or Kisley if she does it because she did it last year but you can't afford to let gaps open on the portage you also can't afford it you know, if you want to race Anderson you need to put her back where Milliver is you need to be circulating that group making life a little bit uncomfortable the one thing you learned from Melina Anderson's race earlier in this tournament is that she likes to be in charge. She likes yeah. to be unflustered at yeah. front and in charge. If you can change that, so fluster her. if you can shake up the deck of cards and suddenly put her on a scratchy wave or put her under pressure, I think that would be the way to optimize your chances of getting the better of her. So we've got Winter and Mackenzie and Burkett just making contact with the back of that group. Greenboat of Bedox also. I mean, that's easy for us to say as a couple of middle-aged, out-of-date people in the commentary box, Dave. It's so much harder to do on the water but if you want to have an impact on this race you have to you can't be a victim of what's happening you have to start to create opportunities for yourself you have to start um, disadvantaging other people Mackenzie coming around on the outside in the green sleeves looking very meaningful in that catch up there her marathon pedigree has just improved in leaps and bounds year on year and I'm expecting good things from her today a couple of years ago, made a big move from where she was living down to join the uh, the training base where Hank McGregor lives. This is speeding up. It Some, is picking something up. Something going on here, Ray. And this is the full lap. Remember, there's no portage, so yeah, Kis Kisley's sure just trying why to. S Ray switched opportunities there. You know, Kisley is still leading. Oh, it's because Kahalmi made a move. Ray wanted to cover Kahalmi's move which she did, she'll, now she'll go back to Kisley, and they're, they're split decisions, you look at who's moving, you decide you need to cover them, Ray moved across, it turned out with hindsight now, she had no way of knowing at the time that it was the wrong decision, so Milliver's moved up to where Ray was, Ray's been pinballed back a position, and that was just a 50-50 decision, if Kahalmi had ended up leading, then Ray would have been the winner of that move but it just didn't pan out for her melina anderson with her sunglasses adding to the poker face and i guess part of this game is continually trying to read what is going on with your opponent yeah your, i mean your you look at her anchor helmet and the robocop look is big this year yeah Well, wow, Bedock on the back of that group again. She's caught up after a little display on the turn, a display of nerves, to be fair. Here goes Kahalmi this time. This time Ray does go with her. She's picked 
Kahalmi over the others. And Svakova back with some of the tail enders. And that is a meaningful split. That's Kahalmi head to head with Kisley up the front. The real beneficiary, Anderson, with a boat halfway between the two, is just getting a free ride. Portuguese suffering there. I mean, she looked good in the short course. MC Kahalmi, super pleased to get a silver medal. She was mm. grinning all over. She was just happy as. Anderson's gone to her left now. Somebody's in the V. It looks like Milova. Then it's Osa in the black boat, I think. But that was the Hungarians clearly upping the ante because we said it was a fairly measured first lap. They've decided to turn up the heat. All settled again now. Just on the back of that group, we've still got Man and Ray, Portugal and Australia. Could be Winter also right at the back of that group. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it is Winter just tucked in the back. And there's Bedok this time going around the turn on her own. She should be a lot more comfortable. Kahalmi stretching them out still. Super powerful. That splitting, that group of four at the front looks pretty ominous. It does. Away goes Anderson. Round the back comes Milova, I think. And there's just an air of desperation about the four boats chasing. There is. There if, is. if they miss this opportunity, I think it's good night news for them. Going out to the right is Mann. And there the goes Anderson. Boat. Kisley will want to get to Anderson. Kahami will have to be squeezed into V, but she's not having it. She has to go back. Kisley can't finish the job. <laughs> oh, my word. That's... They're not, they're not giving each other any uh, help there. That's Rebecca Mann. That's Ray from Portugal. That's stringing them out at the back there. It's brutal. Osa in the black boat, and Anderson just presses on. Milova struggling to come up the left of Anderson or just choosing to hold the others off for now. Rebecca Mann has made the jump, and I think she might be the only one who makes it. Well done. <laughs> Kisley is not enjoying life right now. She wanted to come round Kahalmi and get to the side of Anderson, and that would normally have been a sort of routine play, if you like. But Kahalmi just, well, just said, no, I'm staying here. Well, it just so started. Not a lot of love lost. No, there's not. And there's no quarter being asked or given here. But that was a little test mid-term mid in the middle of your course at, at, at university to see how you were doing. A couple failed there. Yep. Man was one of the uh, few that passed it. Ray is still chopping away outside there on the bigger waves that run down the side. Everyone is kind of wishing Milova would move up to the left of Anderson just to settle things out a little bit. So it's Anderson, Kahalmi, Kisley, Milova and Mann in that front group. Just off the back of that is Ray from Portugal and behind her in a black boat, Osa, then Bedok in the green boat. Ray and Osa having to burn some matches to try and catch up with the front bunch, which you don't want to do this early in a seven lap race. You can see from the speed graph, we're back on the downstream leg. It's actually downstream and downwind today. It's only a light breeze, but just picking up the surface of the water. Melina Anderson. Boyfriend broke her paddle on the morning of the race that she went on to win gold in such spectacular yeah, you fashion. Yeah, you wonder what the background is to that episode, don't you? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, there's a story behind that. Boyfriends don't just go breaking paddles no, by accident. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> but how do you make up for that? How do you, how do you possibly? Re uh, how does your share price recover from something like that? 
Here comes Mann. Mann's had enough of Milova not going up that side. She's going to do it. And to do that from where she was, she had to drop round the back of Milova and come up. So it's a big two lengths, you know, nearly three lengths of catch up. And she did it very, very confidently. Milova, the beneficiary, but Mann obviously feels more comfortable there than she did uh, dangling on the back of the group. So now you've got five. There's always one that's going to suffer. I'm surprised that Kisley is prepared to be on the second washout. At this stage, you think, right, who, who's the weakest in this group? Who am I going to squeeze out and, and bully? You probably have to feel Milova is the, the, the smaller player in that group. So if Kisley went round Kahalmi and just squeeze Milliver back, you could almost reduce that to four. But Ma Man Ray is doing her share price a lot of good here. Yeah, she is. She's, she's really barking with the big dogs. And her, her coming out of the wave behind Kahalmi has opened up the door for Ray there as well. She's going to get to the back of the... Well, let's go Burgundy again, Dave. Burgundy boat of Kahalmi. And Bedok is bringing Osa and Winter back to that group. The second group a long way back. Anderson now. puts down the hammer again. Here we go again. And every time we do this, you can see that those four behind just don't have just this top end cruising speed. Is Milova no seat on this bus. Milova has been the one who's had the easiest ride since the turn. Man given the uh, cheap seats there but this is where this is where five you got five now you could give the Hungarians could give Anderson a run around now if Kisley did her lead now Anderson would be second washout she'd have to change something so those Hungarians have got it within their within their gift to do that to do something to, to Anderson at least try and do something to her You see how that injection of pace, which was from Kahalmi that time, is just too much for that chase four. They haven't got that turn of speed. There's the little blip of speed. And that's that little bit of damage is so painful for the others behind. It's brutal. It's putting in a blade and twisting it. And there's invariably somebody that falls down. Man hanging in valiantly on that second wave on the left. And Milova is in premium seats. Oh. We have a withdrawal, or well, certainly a not good news. Oh, we saw her struggle in the short course as well, didn't we? She was at the back of that the short Brazilian. course group. Yeah. This is quite high speed here. I'm just going for, for the, the thought process that I would use. If I'm Kisley, my main rival is Anderson. If I lead now, Anderson is second washout. That's the toughest place to be. But we're that, right at that's the, turn. the only Yeah, but that's the only time that it's worth my lead if I can disadvantage my main rival, who is Anderson. But Kisley not... Anderson Not cutting it up. tight against the boys. She can come up on the inside if she wants to. There's water there to do it. Man decides she's going to do it. Man sees half an opening in the door and tries to squeeze her way through. Anderson sees that. Kahalmi sees it. They're not going to let the Aussie through. Now, if you're Kizzy, surely then Anderson's second washout and going upstream. Surely we can do some damage. Maybe Kizzy just isn't feeling it today. I get a sense that Vanda is playing cards very close to her chest. Oh, they and th th this is a this is a, a long race. It's 26 yeah. k's. I think we're going to see the Vanda plan. There we think go. She, she, she will play it pretty under the radar until the second half of this race. I think maybe all their minds are on the portage and not letting something bad happen at the portage. Rebecca Mann doing a lot of work out there. 
Your choices for Rebecca Mann there. I mean, she's obviously comfortable where she is. She wants to be there. That's her choice. Your other choice is to duck around the back of the group onto Van der Kisley's tail, have the slower water nearer the reeds there, and uh, a half V. But back there, you get less choices at the portage. There's always a trade-off. So they're the decisions these, these ladies have to make. Where do you want to sit in that group? Milliver has no no doubt where she wants to sit she's, she's got the easiest ride there's no she's just hoping things don't change and she's been allowed to sit there for, for most a of long this lap. time yeah and she's just thinking this uh, the longer this lasts the better for me and every time someone in the front bunch puts their foot on the gas the chasing three that are trying to close the gap just disappear out the back yeah i think i think these these five have very little concern about the chase packs here there's the, all the power is in this group Lap two of seven, and our first portage coming up. While we watch that, I'll give you a bit rundown. After this front group, we're looking at a chase group of Ray, Bedox, Winter, Osa. Then it goes Burkitt, Van... Oh, here we are with Burkitt. This is the chase group. group. Nicky Burkitt is at the front. Burkitt, Van Voorst, Kemp, Mackenzie, and Riosa in this group. Odette Van Voorst from Eindhoven. She lives in Feldhoven. Design Academy student. So her club mates at Beatrix Eindhoven will be whooping her on and hoping she can take advantage of an opportunity to bridge back onto that front bunch. Again, great shot there of the still water to the right of yeah, that flow line. The dark, smooth water is the slowest moving, and it's exactly where you want to be. And for those that haven't been watching the earlier racing, it's very deep down on that bank, so there's no chance of running into shallow water or hitting anything. It's almost a sheer wall on that side where the reeds are. This Naretva used to be a port where ships would sail up into the Naretva 30 kilometers from the Adriatic and then dock here. So that's how deep the river is. It's good deep water. It makes it great for marathon racing. Kohalmi taking the front bunch. Anderson, Kisley immediately on her wave. Man in the white boat. And Milova in the Czech colors of red, white and blue. The gap still just a few meters, but no one in this front group cares if anyone from that second group catches up. They know that we're just with a small injection of pace, they're back on their own again. Fans and coaching staff on the bank on the bikes. So that's Milova, Bedok, Ray, and Osa in that chase pack. Ray on the inside and she's having a little run for it now we just mm -hmm. saw her speed up as we left that shot relaxed pace now at the front and the first portage portage one to here we go we saw anderson superb on the portages in her race earlier yeah you have one job at this portage is to stay in contact you have to stay in contact if Anderson goes, especially. One stay out of trouble, two stay in contact. Yeah. And we zoom back yeah. to the under-23 women's race yeah. where stuff happens. You don't want to get, called up, get caught up in the incidental stuff that happens in racing. So a gradual right-hand bend on the river, which is going to bring the portage into view for the very first time. Milova still tucked in the back. Kahalmi, Kisley on her, her right, our left as we look at it. Anderson in the blue boat. Mann in the white boat. Milova in the red, white, and blue boat. Van Voorst, Mackenzie, Kemp, and Riosa in this shot. Riosa moves up take her turn and I think Mackenzie's Bur Burkitt must be there somewhere I think Nikki Just Burkitt off is, is off the back of the sponge as well sadly but here's our front bunch now at this stage coming into the first portage you will have trained you will have picked your options but it's the first time that you're going to see 
people are going to have a look at your your deck of cards and you how you want to play you this race. Train and practice portage is all you like. The biggest skill in portage in is managing the situation as it occurs. That's really hard to practice. Race scenario portaging is super hard to practice because you have to prejudge what other people are going to do. You have to adapt if they don't do what you think they're going to do. And primarily, you have to keep yourself safe. Man on the outside in particular is going to have to look at her options and take some very cool headed decisions. She's been on that outside for a long time, Rebecca Mann. Determination etched all over the face of Kahalmi. I think and after Kisley. the short course, Kahalmi thinks she's in with a chance. Here goes Anderson. And this is what you have to cover. Anderson's going left. Oh, somebody's Burkitt. in at the bank. That, that's, that might be Nick's Burkett. Yeah. She might have got a technical. Something's happening there. Here we go. See if anyone's got the motivation to go early. Kisley goes long. Help me out first. Man's a little They've clumsy. They've done well. You, you've got Anderson good. at the back. That's perfect. That is perfect. Now you just need to spread out a little. Anderson going through the drinks lane. Maybe she thinks, oh, the Portuguese maybe lost her boat at the beginning of that portage. Kisley through running comes Kisley. beautifully. Anderson trying to find a way through. Kahalmi may be the slowest of the runners, but probably the strongest of the paddlers. Bedok there, Osa in shot. It's going to be Kisley first to get into the water. Away goes Anderson and Kisley, and their heart rates will be absolutely dropping now. They're pleased, especially Kisley, that she's not got left behind by Anderson on that. And she looks pretty motivated to go alone. Surely not. Mackenzie, Van Bors, Riosa and Kemp spreading out. Mackenzie goes left, Riosa right. Kemp having to make some judgment calls here. She's run out of room and she's just followed straight into a dead end. Surely not. Kahalmi going to chase Kisley, but Kisley's definitely motivated to make them work. Just had a water delivery. That's great. I forgot to get the waters in this morning, Dave. Biscuits so, and water, same day. Whew. Absolutely. This is Kahalmi. Kahalmi Look Anderson. how strong she is. Anderson is taking the ride because she can't go faster. Surely not. Kisley, Kahalmi, how, Anderson. Mm. Yeah, how is anyone brave enough to try and run from someone like Anderson, who you know has an on and on? Like that is that is a level of bravery that you can only look on and admire, because Kisley is taking it to Kahalmi and Anderson there. Milliver's out of her depth there. She's looking back for help. She had a nice run in. But here's the situation at the front. They will all get back together. But strong move. That it, Psychologically, we, that's a massive move. I we, see your fast grind. We, I raise it with mine. We were talking at the bottom turn about how you try and do damage to your main opponents. And whatever she's done here, she has made those other two suffer. And she has made them spend some money. And hats off to Kisley there. That was impressive. The best thing that group did there, though, was hold Anson at the back of the portage don't let those people run through you've got to you've got to disadvantage people where you can anderson was first to rise out of her boat but she was at the far end of the landing stage and by the time she got up and running she was Kisley's looking over her shoulder she's quite happy to see the boats arrive in her peripheral vision her question will be will all five make it back no, on no and chance. i don't think they will this is a three boater i think and as soon as everyone's locked on to Kisley's side, you expect her to stop. And somebody else will have to take the pull. And that somebody else will probably be Anderson, I think. Anderson that just portage and section up to the top turn is so critical. And Van der Kisley will look back on her report card and just see A+. Plus. That's yeah. worked out beautifully for her. She's just sent a little warning off to the other two in picture here that she has a plan for this, this title and she uh, would love to retain it. And she's willing to do it on the same sort of terms that the others regard as their strengths. The front three from the short course. She's checking. They're both there. 
she's not she's not gonna slow yeah she's gonna slow down now and have a little look around and ask who else is gonna take it from here the speed drops she's done a little bit of damage to herself also yeah you know, she's done a strong section herself she will have measured it out the others aren't <laughs> the others aren't keen to come up so Kisley squeezed into doing a little bit more she's gonna open that gap the gap I try and get some details we can't see it but I think the gap is about 70 meters back to the chase group which is man and Milliver only and then it's another 100 metres back to the chase group of Bedox, Winter, Ray and Osa. So we've got three in the front group, two in a chase group, if you think of it as a chase group, or maybe it's just a falling behind group now. And the pace pace easing right up a now. little. Kisley, yeah. I think, burnt a few matches on the way up. She's, I think, done the damage she hoped to, but it did come at a cost. She's happy just to ease back on that pace. You can see the urgency in that lunge forward has gone from her. Yeah. Nobody has any appetite to try and move to the front. They're happy to sit on the wave. Kisley in charge of the mind games right now. Wow. You talked about destabilizing somebody. Anderson's now had to scramble back through the portage and yeah. scramble back onto that wave, yeah, which is not what she's had to do at all this week. Yeah, she's more than, you know, she's there. She's more than capable of doing it, ah. but she wouldn't choose. Wanda's put the handbrake on. Yeah. Be interesting to see whether Kahami drops right round. Yes, she will. You see how Kami's only just gone round the red boat there of, of Kisley. If she dropped back quicker, she could have got a lift up with the tail of Anderson's boat. So the timing of a drop round like that is crucial because if you get the timing right, you have one less wave to climb. So a little bit slow on the drop round. That's a nice little, I'm, I'm going to clip that for my kids. I'd love to see the drone the, shot of that, that and do it in parallel. Yeah, and it, those, it's those little details in timing of changing washes that just make little bits of difference along the way. I will clip that for my kids at the club when we would go through this and just use that as a bit of an example. So there's the gap back to the chase too. We've got a little op opportunity now. The pace has definitely slacked. Anderson's taken up the pull, but there's no urgency as they head down to the bottom turn. But again, there's no one in that front three who minds if the second pair catch up because they're not in a really in the same league they're not and oh. it's going to take a, a fairly concerted grind to get yeah. back onto them and that there's Nikki Burkett struggling in the you reeds oh, I'd there. love to know what's going on there Andy Burkett's wife Nikki just so committed to her racing and representing it would be great her country if someone out there in the South African team I, I did see somebody in, in, in the South African track suits on the bank riding a bike a bit of in support. Yeah. Uh, some info would be really good. Because she's been stuck there in the reeds and she's not been out of the boat fixing a mechanical from what I can see. Unless it's a paddle issue she's dealing with. Who knows? Back at the front. The three big guns that we've been billing as the Clash of the Titans. Your defending champion, Van der Kisli, nearest the camera from Hungary. Sweden's Melina Anderson in the blue boat. And MS Kohalmi, the other Hungarian on the far side. Well, we get messages in here from the outsiders. We've just got a message here from Nuno Montero, who's the dad of Santos, who mm -hmm. we watched in the, the race yesterday, who I kind of championed through. I, lo I absolutely loved what he did. And eight, eight weeks ago, he broke his collarbone. He broke his clavicle and he, s he sent me the x-ray of it here and uh, he fell off oh. his bike. Was it so, so yeah, hats off again to him for getting through that and still being up and running. He's still under 23, he's got a lot of time and yeah, I, I watch the athletes and again, you yeah, go back to my kids at the club, I will point out athletes in this event that I think they need to aspire to be and that is one of the guys who I think you know, I look at him and I think there's a man with a race brain and he yeah, the hats off to him so shout out to both Santos and Mon Nuno Montero Nuno. 
and uh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant day's racing yesterday. Back to senior women, and it's as it was a while ago, it's down to the big three. Down to the bottom two. Or is oh, it? the chase or is just it? caught. Rebecca Mann. Mann's pulled them back up. Mann and Milliver. Kisley goes. Kisley doesn't like the look of that. I think she got a glimpse of it over her left shoulder as she made, and oh, she said, no, no. Oh, Rebecca Mann must be thinking for sake. <laughs> could we, <laughs> could we just leave it alone for a minute? <laughs> Kisley's done this before. Again for Kahalmi, a late come around the back. It's a, it's a longer chase than it needs to be. But Kisley... She's now hitched Kisley up. Kisley doesn't want those other two in the group. She wants the simplicity no, I, I, of a group of three. She wants the simplicity of the group and she also wants the pace to be picked up. I think she gets frustrated when it just gets a little pedestrian and then literally throws her toys out and takes off. So confirmation then that uh, Nix Burkett has a officially stepped out of the race, which is super sad for her. It'd be good to get some... Rebecca Mann again. There's a, there is a lesson oh. in persistence. There's Ray, Winter. Mackenzie's in the bunch there. Look at that, Rebecca Mann. Jeez. Miller has benefited from Rebecca Mann's dogged determination. Effort. But they are going to bridge back by the time they get to the portage, See which is Rebecca just around Mann the corner. Is climbing directly over the V. If she came to the side, to the tail of either Kahalmi or Anderson, then sneaks in the side. You don't have to go over the peak of that mountain to get I in I think there. she's looking at the back of the paddler in front of her rather yeah. than the water in immediately yeah. in front of the nose of her boat. There's little, there's little details on this stuff that you can save an awful lot of energy if you get it right. Milova hanging on for dear life on the outside wave with man. And this is the chasing four. Riosa in shot in the green boat. But back up front, it is now five. Van der Kisli at the front, having just put her foot on the gas momentarily, just enough to say to the group, this is not the way this game is going to be played today. We're going to up the intensity. Kahalmi's just on her left, Anderson on her right. Man has now worked her way onto the diamond. Milova now sitting on the outside wave. Portage 2 coming up. So lessons nerves, learned from Portage yeah. 1 will be carried into Portage 2. The people who are super... Uh, Milova is the most scared here at Portage 2. She's just thinking, oh, my life. I've only just got back. <laughs> and anyway, we, we run the risk of going through that whole process again. Rebecca Mann, seemingly fearless at the moment and you know, relentless in that effort to catch up. Smaller group now, the chances of actually cramping the style of Anderson have been dramatically reduced. Yep. So it might just be a, a portage one-on-one -on -one with Anderson and Kisley here, the way it's being sized up. Kahalma's got the sunnies up now. It would be so Business cool time. if you had thought bubbles coming out of all, and you could you could get in and see what see what they're thinking. Stress levels just go up and up as you approach the portage. Yeah, you, deep down, I'd have a fear that somewhere in her mind, Anderson has picked a portage, second, third, fourth, fifth, whichever one it is she's going to really go for, and you don't know which one it is, and you're coming into all of them thinking, is it this one, is it this one? You have to cover it every single time. And she's got... The and the same for Kisley. We've seen that she's She's motivated. got the complete weapon set as well. She can get in there, yeah. absolutely butcher you on the portage, and then sprint away from you if she gets an early yeah. put in. So she could really make a hurt on one portage. Anderson momentarily was coming up a little alongside Kisley to try and secure more bargaining power going into the portage. Kisley didn't want any of that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I think the, the thought bubble of Milliver at the back of that group is just, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm yeah. scared. <laughs> I hope it doesn't all go wrong at the next one. Chase group, including Bedox, Osa, Ray and Winter. I mean, that's a strong group in its own right. Are they some 130 meters behind? Probably about 40 seconds, I guess. Certainly a gap that will look large to them. Winter looking the most comfortable in that group as well. We've seen all the Danes race so well this weekend. So Portage 2 just about to come into play. I'm nervous. I'm Kisley not, not, not Anderson, this is oh, this is like two world championship fighters stepping into the ring together. This is going to be such a Kahal key portage. Kahalmi's portages are well organized. He just doesn't seem to have the, the land speed that the other two have. So she's you know, definitely, and she has got the power to catch up. She On the water, she is strong, strong. But we, Rebecca Mann obviously has that same ability. So yeah, we've had that same picture. Here we go. There we go. Kisley puts down the hammer. Man saw it first. Kohalmi's going with Kisley. Anderson just a stroke or two off responding to that. Milova will see that gap growing just a little bit in front of her. She's just got to stay in contact. She's just losing a little bit now. She'll have to choose the back tail of the white boat. She's gone for that already. Kisley cutting it close to the reeds to put Melina Anderson oh, just into there. Anderson having to and back off. Anderson's got a load of weed on the front of that boat after yep. that incident, a load. So she's, stuck, she's struggling there with that. Now I think it's dropped off. Man. Okay. Man moves up to Kohalmi's wave. Anderson tucks into the diamond. That's not where she wanted to be going into the portage. Perfect. The, you know, the Hungarian girls are, have managed yep. Anderson very, very well there. I don't, whether that's deliberate, you, you assume that it is. They filtered her to the back of the group of four. And at least for now, they've got a one length head start if she decides to run on this lap. Port. Kisley leads as it's, they come in. Kahalmi leads. It's Milova, I feel for. Early stop for Kahalmi would suit the Hungarians. She's done well. Kisley goes long again. Kahalmi is quick. Kisley's a little slow Kisley's getting little out of the road. Kahalmi's yeah. good. Man is very good. Man hits the lead for the moment. Come on, Milova. And here comes it's Anderson through the middle. Watch her run this one hard. There goes Kisley. Kisley's shaded her. Kisley. Kisley Anderson. v. Anderson. Kahalmi just that couple of strides slower over the port. She's good. They're all four going to make it. This will be perfect for Man. She's the only one on the left side. She's got Funder all the time pulling in away the world. at the end of the portage. Can she get a really blitz put in here? No, she's not risking much. Rebecca Man has earned this big time. She's going to get away with the group of four. She can finally take a breather. And Kohalmi is going to be the tail of the bunches they put into the end and of the portage. And is in deep, deep yeah. trouble. The chase group comes Ray, in. Ray Bedox there in the green boat, last to rise in that group. Winter first, um, Ray the Portuguese second, Osa behind there. There's your group of four is going to form. Might be a bit tight on that first boy with Kisley coming over at that angle. No, she's gone very high. And she's, so the problem's going to happen through. at the second boy there. Boom, she's going to get round. It's going to be a bit tight for Man, but she's Man is read it right. properly. Good job from all four there. Anderson. Man in a spot of bother coming at that. It's that, it's that little... peak turn boy. It's such a tough one. It's to get almost around. a V turn rather yeah, than a it C. Is. But they will regroup. Kisley. She's laying down the rules of engagement again like she did on the second lap. This is a real, real race. You want to play the game? This is how the game is going to be played. She's fired the turbos. Anderson has got the speed we know, but she's quickly up onto her wave. Kisley's not going to try and make it stick. She's Rebecca just Mann's got a tough job still. Kisley isn't Oof. slowing down. They'll... Kahalmi struggling to get back. She's got to run for Kisley's tail. Man going out wide to the right, trying to pick up the big waves. She can see what she wants out there, but can she get out there in time?
More port ejection now. Spain almost losing contact with the boat. Mr. Johnson on the right. Spaniard, we've got the second Dane there. And let's give you a, a roll call with the Johnson. Barrios, Barrios, really? Yeah. You, know, you, feel, you feel for her as you feel for Rebecca Mann at this stage. My word, she has got a job to do from there. You can see she sat on one of the big rolling waves out to the side. She's just got to weather this storm and hope that those three slow down eventually. That is Man a hard, is going hard job. She's on a nice rolling wave there. You can just see it in front of her. It's going to take a, a fairly concerted grind to get back on, though. But if if someone else takes off at a high speed, she's going to lose one more wave. But she's getting there. Come on, Rebecca. Maddie Oliver in the comments column just endorsing what you were saying earlier about the drone footage being a game changer for marathon. It is, it's just absolutely. such a treat, man. San from Argentina is sending us a message, but I don't understand it. How's, can, can I read it out and you translate it? Will, will you, you can read it out, but I can't translate Buenos it. Buenos días desde Argentina. Por favor, pueden enforzar a todas las pálidas de vent en cuando en un paneo general. Gracias. Do you know what that is? I think Sam, wants, we'd love to help you, mate. pay attention to all the paddlers and give us an overall. So we'll, we'll, we'll give you a rundown. We'll do our best, Sam. Thank Currently, you, mate. The Argentinian is in 22nd place, um, just over yeah, one and a half kilometers behind the leaders. That's Hues of Argentina. The Leila fan club has been so vocal in the commentary. Oh, this is not Rebecca good news. Mann. That's Chrissy McKenzie who's going to be calling it quits. Oh, both South Africans are out. Devastating for them. Okay, we need to get a bit of a debrief from from the team from really. the team management about team there, there's debrief. christy mckenzie withdrawing at the portage all four back together rebecca man a well-earned v wash there and she should she should get a nice little breather i think i think anderson will probably lead all the way down to the turn and, uh, man looking Rebecca over her man. shoulder to see if there's anybody else coming but i don't think that's going to happen i think that that bunch no, is kind of yeah, settled yeah well, we've said that before, on the, uh, but it was man that brought the others back last time. And I think she was hoping that Milleva would be there as an ally, but that no. I don't think it's going to happen. You don't want to hope for a fifth person on a group like that. Four is so, so comfortable. So, yeah, it's an easy group to organize. I think she doesn't want to be the one to be bullied if there's going to be a slimming of the bunch. I'm not sure she it's about what she wants. <laughs> I think I she think might just have to wear that. I think uh, for now she gets what she's given until she gets enough rest to get her strength back where's she going ah, why she's going to rattle the cage what's she doing she was nicely on the diamond she's trying to destabilize things kisley's having none of it melina anderson's happy just to sit and watch it happen of course kahalmi's coming around melina will now slip onto the diamond man wants to take it on surely she needs a rest this is well, see, uh, see Superwoman as well. We've got four in one group, all who want to take it to the others. Wanda's stamping her foot with her enough is enough again. And drops the pace. So now, now Kisley's got a different problem because she's doing the leading and her main, main rival is in the easiest place in the group. Yeah. Again, you need to change that. You don't want. Yeah, well, you don't what want did, that. I don't want. What did Wonder achieve by that? It's just a. I don't know. I mean, just a reminder. I'm in charge. Statement. But she's now, inadvertently, given her greatest rival, an easy ride up to the turn can. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't have the same mindset as these girls. You would never have seen me brave enough. I, I'm, I'm the most cowardly racer you've ever known. I would never have gone it alone. So my mindset and these girls' mindsets, or these women's mindsets, are totally different. So I see this through my eyes. They see it through theirs. They, they're, they're, not, they're not stupid. But you know, I have to wonder why Rebecca Mann, who's done all the work to catch up, and was sat comfortably in a V-wash, would want to press on at this stage. Does she genuinely believe she can do damage to Kisley and Anderson by pressing on? 
Yeah, that's some. If you do genuinely believe you've got the ability to do damage to those two, you are something special. Kahalmi well. coming into the V. She's doing it. And yeah, it'd be, it'd be great. I don't know if Rebecca Mann isn't racing again this weekend. It would be great to have her in the commentary box this afternoon and just say, look, what, what goes on out there? Yeah, there's no prizes it's to get to the getting for the to the finish quickly. There's only prizes for getting to the finish first. It doesn't matter if this race takes three days. Yeah. It's just about who crosses the line first. But yeah, man seemingly wants to do her share and wants to grind the others down. And wants to show she's capable of dominating at any stage. For what purpose? She's in fairly lofty company right there she would have been perceived as the minnow in that and i don't think she likes that so so again you go back to my mindset if i'm if i'm the minnow in that group i stay out of sight out of mind they do their thing and i just pick up that backwash spend as much of my day on the diamond as i can time. yeah yeah every time and you just hide away you've got we're only on lap four of seven you could do two laps hidden out of sight out of mind and then join in later but these women have different plans. And it's a Miss Kohalmi who's got the, the cushy seats as they make the turn. She's going to have to grind her way back onto the premium spot on the following wave on the diamond. As man leads them up into the still water on the extreme right hand side of the river. This is super interesting. We'll see the gap back now on her own going around that turn, Milova, and there's the gap behind her. It isn't massive, there is a group there. So she'll have to tussle with the idea of going on her own, waiting for the group, seeing what it's a really difficult call for her. But every time one of these four does a wheel spin to accelerate the group that yeah, the back bunch back. just becomes less and yeah. less relevant yeah. so Rebecca man has added a name to the list of superpowers in this group and she's mixing it on equal terms with the other three yeah, she's earned her stripes in there. I mean, she's yeah. got a five times world champion who's busy keeping her honest on the side there, but she's certainly up for the fight today and has justified her place on that front bunch. Bedox, Ray, Osa, and Winter in that group we just saw as we return to the front group. Man leading. This is impressive. Kiss me, Anderson, could harm and just a. She's taking him up to portage number three. So we talked about Milova on the last leg up who had the greatest degree of fear because she was the most vulnerable. You saw what happened to her. It just, the little gaps open, but the little gaps in this scenario are big gaps. So now in this setup, as it is, sits here, Kahalmi is the most vulnerable. Well managed on her drinks bag there. You saw her take her drinks bag off her head and she tucked it into the boat behind her. In the old days, she would have jettisoned that into the river. Those rules have all changed now for e ecological reasons and just general decency reasons. We used to have a river full of drinks bags after these events. They changed the rules. A drinks bag in the river is a time penalty. And Kahalmi took it over her head and put it in the boat behind her. And that's quite a, an impressive thing to do. The draw when it first came in was instant DQ. It was a race ender. So right. It was tough. I think it is a time penalty now. It is a time penalty yeah. now. Time penalties for those not familiar with them. If the uh, 
If our ITOs see anything that warrants a time penalty, it's always displayed to the paddlers on an electronic board as they come into the portage. There's a small square board which will have a boat number and the time penalty that has to be served. And as we saw yesterday, those time penalties will allocate normally 15 or 30 seconds, but the duration of that penalty is often quite a bit longer because you need to hustle into the naughty chair, into the box. There's a bit of demarcated tape on the portage area, and the time penalty only starts when you put your boat down. So there's a skill in itself in being able to minimize the damage of your time penalty. Penalty. If you remember last year, the Argentinian Junior K2 had the time penalty, and they came skidding into that time penalty penalty box, literally on their ass. <laughs> and, and they, they, I think they're the only crew who had a 15-second time penalty that only took them 10 seconds because they were so sharp at getting in and out. That's it. That they joined That's in the, the back of the same group that they left originally. It was incredible. That's a good comment from Maddie Oliver. Any thoughts from us about using a bigger rudder on races where the flow is strong? It seems like time is being lost on the turns. Some of these boats have also got less rocker. They're straighter, designed with speed as the priority, so turning is not the key yeah, design I, element. I think, I think it's just an exceptional situation with the angle of that turn and where the flow is in the river. It's right in the middle of the river. It's the sharpest angle, and I think just getting any boat around that turn with any rudder is a problem. I think you've got pressure on the tail of your boat trying to get round the nose around the buoy, and it's just a really, really tough turn. Chelsea Lynn us in on a secret Rebecca's nickname Beaker uh, as in Mupp one of the Muppets was it Beaker was there a Muppet called Beaker there's some sort of children's you're older than I am so. Dave you're 90 <laughs> <laughs> it says on your cake I see you've avoided tucking into my birthday cake. I think it's rude, isn't it, to cut someone else's cake and eat it while they're commentating. I think that's poor form. Yeah, I would go with that. Rebecca Mann, she's led for a considerable distance now. Kahalmi, the one who's got a few decisions to make. Anderson just moving up on the uh, inside. And that Vanda Kisley presence just, I can only describe as there ominous. She there she goes. Kisley decides she wants to take control of this race coming into Portage number three. This is good because they've got Anderson on the outside <laughs> again. You know, if you're really brutal in your Kisley, you'd go left of that pontoon. Yeah. But it all changed. Kaomi dropped round to the right hand side of her. And so now it's Rebecca Mann in the V where she was before she took on her long, long lead back to this point. One of the crew bringing us the shots from the middle of the Neretva. Big up to our production crew. They long day in the sun to bring you these quality images and to be able to bring the stream to every corner of the world. Anderson on the outside now as they come into the portage. Kisley not cutting um, Kahalmi nearly as close to the edge as she did with Anderson on the last lap. Here goes Kahalmi taking on Kisley for the portage. Rebecca Mann just has to stay relaxed in the mm -hmm. V there. She's fallen out the back of the V. She's goes. lost a length or two. Kahalmi goes, Kisley goes. The two Hungarians two. are now clear as they go into the portage. Anderson they missed just that. pulled away from Anderson there. Anderson missed that break. Kahalmi will go long. I'm sure they will have some sort of agreement here. I think Anderson's banking on her running. I think they're going to hog that right hand take up. That's exactly what's happening. She didn't go Kahalmi's long. Kahalmi's gone it's long. A, she hasn't really. I mean, that's Anderson in no rush at all. As the two Hungarians hit the portage, can they make this count? Rebecca Mann also in a spot of bother here because Anderson is going to run faster than her. Rebecca Kisley Mann runs so well on the portage. Up. There she goes. Kahalmi doesn't strong, quite have the match of her. Strong. Anderson still sitting in third as they come. Man at the back. Kisley super quick on the portage. This is definitely one of her biggest weapons. Kahalmi slightly less comfortable running than the other two. But this is Kisley has an opportunity here. This is a proper opportunity. Man putting Anderson's it on the left. Anderson's stuck behind Kahalmi Anderson's there. been quick on the put-ins. Good for Man there. She's Anderson's got safety nets right with the, the other back. two. Brilliant for Man. That's Kahalmi. She's got a chase down. Kisley going. 
hugging the right hand bank to stay away from the current. Anderson not doing much. This is uh, interesting, to say the least. Anderson there's isn't closing the game. There's an opportunity for the two for Hungarians. Two, this is, this yeah. is lap four now. This is the difficult turn boy here. You can see it, the, the, the crazy angle it goes off. Milova coming in. She's going to get caught, I think, by that chase group. Oh, this is the chase group. This is the chasing group. Ray, three. Winter, Bedox there with a boat full of water. She Bedox needs to empty that out. Oh. Just to empty it out. But Winter is the one running through. We've got a little view out of our window. We can tell you that Kisley and Kahalmi are now together. And the gap back to Anderson is significant. It's a 10 length gap. These are the two leaders in shot. We know Anderson has got the turbo. She's not using them. She's not. And the, the, I don't know. You feel, you feel. Come on, Kahami. It's your turn. You've got to go. You've got to go, Kahami, if you want to make this break stick. There has to be cooperation between those two. Anderson is starting to up the pace in the chase. It's putting a bit of pressure on Man, who's sitting on her wave. Kahalmi goes to the front now. They this could. Looks like it, oh, this is. I don't know. How do you? We saw Anderson just paddle away from the field in the short yeah. course. If you've got that level of power, surely you can do this. But she doesn't look. But like there's she the is. gap. There, yeah. That gap is significant. The yeah. A concerted burn here could define the front of this race on lap four. Man, lap is, five man is taking on the pull behind it. She man is the most motivated. She's closed the gap a couple of times already on her own. And is Anderson feeling the after effects of her race? We talked about the cost who, of those solo juggernaut runaways. Yeah. Who knows? I just... Yeah, it's not what you expected. We we'll give you... We can only give you the track track gaps as track track gives it. Sometimes they're a little bit vague, but currently it's 40 meters, and we'll keep tabs on that number as we go down to the bottom turn. Got an update on the withdrawal of the two South Africans. Uh, Nikki Burkett had a problem with uh, a screw in her foot dress coming loose, so it was a technical, Ouch. Uh, which is just frustrating. Christy not feeling well, so she's unwell today. Started the race just feeling too green to be competitive and withdrew. Okay, Kisley takes over. Kisley will take over with a little bit more meaning. Yeah, I, think, I suspect the urgency will come back. There she goes. I think Vanda knows that this lap five opportunity for the two Hungarians could reshape the front four into the race for gold. This is big. And I know their teammates, Vanda, would be happy racing Kahalmi for gold, I think, at this stage. I mean, define happy in that context, Dave. I mean, v Kahalmi v Anderson. Her. Kahami if you had to pick Kahalmi or Anderson, her. if you were racing for for the sprint, well, looking at this shot now, I'd pick Kahal I'd pick Anderson any day. I mean, I don't <sighs> understand. I don't understand how Anderson can run away on the portages two days ago, get left behind on the portage today, and she can paddle away two days ago, and now she can't seemingly catch that, up. That gap is growing, and for now. It's There's no urgency. It's 50 meters now, so they've lost another two lengths. And so it's, it's man who's showing the urgency to try is. and bridge again. It is. It's man with the motivation. So Kahami, go, they're sharing the pull, the two Hungarians. A lot hinges on the speed of the takeovers here. If you can get a nice, sharp... If instead of the front person dropping back, the back person comes forward, I know that's a fine divide, yeah, that's a length each time you have a changeover. And it also hinges on who you're paddling with and if you can coordinate that, if there's a plan and you can yeah. almost count each other into that takeover so that it's, as you're saying, as fluid as possible. Yeah, that may be one time when a watch on the front is useful. You do a minute each, two minutes each, you, you name the time. But and then literally count strokes. Call it's it. yours in four, yeah. three, and just, you know... But it does look like Hungary 1 2 at the moment. Gap is nearly yes, 55 metres now as they've lost another length on these two. That's according to Track Track. That isn't 
official by any stretch, but it just gives us a rough idea to how many puts, puts the pedals down. That's, I think we're rotating minute pulls here. Pierce Lee goes, man. And man is doing all the hard work in this chasing game. bunch. It's so weird to, to grasp what's happening there. This group seems a little splintered. That's Winter, closest to us. I think Osa out to her right. That this gap is, is growing by the minute. Kohalmi looking over her shoulder just to see if there's any heat coming from behind. I can tell they're you now saying, that glance saying, over her right shoulder wouldn't have been enough because she would not have seen them. They're that far behind. 43 meters on that. Oh no, six. That's what I've got. This is the 66 meters on on my screen here. Kisley taking it on. You feel like Kisley's leads are the more damaging, and I think that's because Kahami fancies her chances of a, a sprint at the end rather than the grind through. You saw her overtake Kisley quite comfortably, to be fair, on the short course finish. That's the chat from Vanda. Your pull now, MS. Here we That's go. That's exactly what happens. That's a meaningful pull as well. It's almost like Formula One with team, team instructions. Great view from that drone. You can see the legs and hips just chick, chick, chick. All the power comes from that footrest up. And with the drone shots, you can see it so, so clearly. Well, lap five, and what looks ominously I like... Don't know, I don't know. I, I've got the pointer sisters in my headphones. I don't know if they can hear it, but the timing's superb <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the pointer sisters. They're like properly nailing that. Well, I will confess to those that were listening to the stream yesterday that Ivan was doing the John Travolta white-suited Saturday Night Fever thing in the commentary box, so giving away your age, Lawler, badly. What was a four-boat affair for the middle part of this race has now ominously become a hungry, hungry domination for gold. Man, the one more urgent to try and Wouldn't close the gap in three and four. Wouldn't it be great if Anderson made a charge on the next lap? Well, I'm kind um, of... Th the only strategy I can pigeonhole in Anderson's favour now is that she's backing herself to do a solo surge through on lap six <laughs> to give you, her a shot at gold. Would you choose to do a solo surge from 50 metres behind, though? She's, she's conserving uh, right now. She's yes, banking she some energy. So I think she's going to be happy to coast 50 metres behind. Her only chance of challenging for gold has got to hinge on this renewed energy and a Herculean charge from nowhere to put herself in a sprint position. But, you know, hats off to Rebecca, man. She has not given this up once. She's just really Relentless, on and on and on. Kisley, a slow changeover from the Hungarians there allows a little bit of time. You, you're always going to get a shrinkage in the gap. The Hungarians were going upstream at the same time as the others were going downstream. So you get a, a, a change in relative speed. So the gap always appears to close just as you make a downstream turn to come upstream. But the time will remain the same even if the gap is shorter. Rebecca Mann still leading. Kahalmi looks over her shoulder just to make sure that there's no drama. Heat's coming from behind. I'm going to circle back to Matty Oliver's comment there, technicals and weed and, and your setup. It's interesting to note paddlers fitting weed deflectors oh, onto their on, boat hulls. Onto the rudder. The, the, in front the, of the, the rudder. weed deflector that surf ski paddlers like yeah. to use, but I, I noticed during my walk around the athletes area that they were now epoxying on weed deflectors right. in front of their rudders just to make sure that they don't get or minimize the yeah. chance of, of dragging weed onto that rudder. So Kisley leads, Kaomi to her left. Two genuine powerhouses. Good river skills. Good wash hanging skills. And very, very motivated. You can see how fast they're traveling by the plume off the back of those boats. Oh, away goes Kahalmi. Will Kisley drop round the back and let Kahalmi have the inside of the river, or will she stay on her inside? By right, she should drop round the back, but she's not going to. 
the gap, 50 meters ish still. And the character of this portage will be very different now. Can you read anything into what you see there, Dave? Body language, facial expression. It's a bit hard with the glasses on. This looks more upbeat in yeah, this does. pairing I than the other pairing. I'm still sticking to my theory that there is an extraordinarily bold and late plan coming from Anderson here to... I don't know if you watched the women's cycle road race at the Olympics. It was two on two, just like this. And actually, there was a Hungarian in the, the front group, um, Vass, the Hungarian road cyclist. And it was exactly like this, the two and two. You thought the front two were safe. And then just with, I think, about 3K to go, the rear two caught up. And it was the American girl. Let's, call, let's put her in the position of uh, Anderson at the moment who caught up. The moment they caught up, she did a burst, got away on her own and won the race. And that would be so, well, I mean, it's not so cool for these. I'm wishing these. <laughs> so it would be great to see a race unfold like that, where the gap begins to close in that. Yeah, there they are in shot. You can't really tell on screen how much that is, but it, it looks about the same distance on my graphic that I get in the uh, commentary okay. box. Well, this portage will give us a great assessment. Yeah, there, there's, see, there's a, a, there's a super view. drone shot. Yeah. It's uh, Anderson has got a, what we've all been licking our lips over is that showdown between Kisley and Anderson in, in the closing stages of the race. I s honestly think there's a way it's going to happen, but it's going to need superhuman efforts from Anderson from here. And to be honest, she's going to need man to come to the party as well. Man's been at the party for three laps already. I mean, she's done so she's much She's done 90% of the work yeah. in that chase. Yeah. Kisley coming in hard to the portage. The two Hungarians will be super cautious at that and cause yeah, we, we, any traffic for themselves. We're going to get the interview at the end of this. And the question I'd like to ask is how are they brave enough to take it to someone of the quality of Anderson? How are they brave enough to go for it and do that level of damage, knowing that she's got the pull she's got, the portage she's got? I just admire that so much because it just isn't who I am. I'm, the, like I say, one of the most cowardly racers on the circuit. And it just astounds me that you've got that level of confidence and bravery to do that. So you equal parts cat and mouse? No, I'm mouse. <laughs> you mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Kohalmi comes to the front as they approach the portage. Still rotating roughly minutes. Minute pulls at the front. The gap pretty similar. You can tell that the gap between Mann and Anderson there was 10 meters. So you know that the it's a bit vague the science yeah. of uh, of the track track. So the gap we saw there was Johnson, Hostrop, Barrios, and Svakova. The track track, by the way, for those of you that are puzzling it, is related to the little GPS satellite connector unit, which you'll see behind the cockpits of the boats. Let's see if we can get a shot where... You may have been assuming they were taking a packed lunch with them, if you didn't know that. It, it does. It looks like a, a couple of chockey bars in a Ziploc bag, but it's not. It's a... Uh, and, of course, everybody's obliged to carry it, so that extra bit of weight is an equal yeah. equal for every athlete. So these two away. The gap's still 50 metres or thereabouts. You can see behind Kahalmi's cockpit that little white unit, which is affixed to the deck just behind the back cockpit lip. That's where the track track satellite connector is. So for now, these two are allies. They'll work for together now. to make sure that they yeah. keep a chunk of water between themselves. And After the short course race, I think Kahalmi will back herself if it comes to a sprint finish. So portage time. The two Hungarians probably going to do what they've done for most of the race and head into the near side portage, which is the right side of the pontoon. It's just an extra two strokes to get around on the left. Anderson's got a tough one here, because if she runs away from man, which I, I do believe she's got the capability to do, we've seen her really good portages. If she runs away from man, then it's 
she's got one choice. She has to chase on her own. On her own. If she doesn't run away from Mann, she's going to lose another two or three seconds on these girls because Mann's portages are two or three seconds slower than these girls. So she's kind of caught with big decisions to make. I think Melina Anderson is probably on battle plan C at this stage. She didn't want to see herself here, but I think battle plan C would now hinge on a huge attack on this portage. She'll have a clear run on this portage. There'll be no traffic around her. We know what she can do running with a boat. So she puts in a charge. She then does a solo superhuman charge and hoping that it's enough to close it by she comes into the last portage together with the two Hungarians. Game on. There's my prediction. Two Hungarians, yeah, as we that's thought, that's going a, right. It's a bold prediction. It would be great for us as fans and, and, and viewers to see that. I just don't think the body language is screaming. Kohalmi coming in for They're fresh They're coming juice. in now. Man first into the portage, I think. Yep. So she's up and away nicely. Now, <coughs> Anderson needs to try and use this to her advantage. Kisley is running fantastically with the boat today. Man comes in for fresh drink. Anderson stays down. Kisley comfortably in. On her own. Left hand to get herself away, and she's gone clear. Where is Kahalmi? We don't really know. She could be just behind her. We haven't really seen her there. Oh, she, she is. is some way behind. A little bit of a gap. Kisley goes again. Kahalmi making a mistake here, going straight for the boy. She's it cutting the, the corner. Kisley's is the fastest route to those boys. And oh, oh no! Oh, no, no. Oh, so what happened? The prediction of Anderson having to do it, go it alone has come true, but and not in the way that anyone would have wanted it to. That is just brutal for man. Replay coming, please. Oh, what on God. earth? She has been so good on the portages. Now she's got to come back. Uh, her race is done. Ouch. She's full of water. Uh, that's oh. not going to be easy from there. You wanted to see a speech bubble caption. Oh, my Push goodness. The back this down. Is Push the back down. Oh no! Oh, that I did not expect to happen. Now Anderson has one choice. Sorry, Chelsea, the Beaker fans. Anderson now turns into a one-trick pony. She's got, well, she's got one no job. She's got no she options hit. now. It's close or not close, and that's it. So how many just inching back towards Kisley? She's going to get there. Here it, we go. Yes, he has the replay. Foot in. The foot's in the middle. In, in, nothing in the way. Oh, she and just didn't have her paddle right. She put her paddle in like a knife instead of like a spoon. It was just a Watch feather that. on the pedal. Oh, yep. Solid oh, catch up. My, thank you. That's a fantastic replay. Well done. Big up to the to our production team. Solid catch up from Kohalmi there. That's stroke by stroke. I don't think they would have seen man disappearing out of the race there, but they will they will be expecting the Anderson charge now. So I expect the two Hungarians to keep that one minute pull, but at a high intensity. There's Rebecca Man back on the water. Uh, she's gonna be that's her race run. Look, you look at the odds she was gonna come forth on paper. Yeah, I'll buy that, but not like this. But now that's just so unfair. In fact, she's now going to be under pressure from the chasing bunch, which is putting in the portage. I'll just get Winter is leading the chasing bunch at the bottom of the portage. You can see outside our portaloo. Oh. oh, nobody wants to lead. That plays to Anderson. Kisley goes again. That's that little gamesmanship when you don't want to take up the pull. Oh, it's time to adjust my drinking system. Yeah. Sorry, I'm busy. It's uh, This is a sort of no man's lap, really. Nobody really wants to be working hard. Lap six or seven. Kisley definitely doesn't want Anderson back, though. Yeah, I think everybody has a reserve tank that they keep in store for, for lap seven yeah. and the short lap. Yeah. You don't want to start tapping into that fuel reserve exactly now. That. That's a good analogy. Well, a great start to... Oh, no, they're both stopping and drinking. Come on, girls. So that tells you they're both a little bit tired. They're both wary of each other. Neither wants to uh, push on at this stage. The only thing that's pushing them on at this stage is the thought of Anderson behind them. Some 75 metres now, at least on the digital output. 
So if we started these two together 200 meters out, who would you back? Kaomi. Allies for now, and they will chug through this lap together. I suspect rotating these one. There's, there's the gap. Yeah, it's, it says on screen it's 70 meters. Oh, Rebecca, man. Oh. That's it's a beautiful view of the Naritva up to the river. In fact, unfair. the top of the screen there is the border with this Bosnia is, and this Herzegovina. This is going to get interesting. Yeah. Because I think that gap will begin to close. It's going to need. It's going to need Anderson to put on a superhero outfit right now. She's got one in her cupboard. She's <laughs> the superhero <laughs> outfit. It's just they, it doesn't doesn't seem to have worn it today. Well, maybe there's a big reveal, this, and it needs to come. Anyway, Kahalmi is now saying, "My minute's done. Vanda, get to the front." This is Kahalmi backing herself for a sprint finish. Sixty six meters now, ten meter close on screen at least. Yeah, and all this does is build up the anticipation oh. for the final short lap. Really strongly suspect these two will come into that final portage together and then it's just strap yourselves down. It's going to be a cracker we, short lap. Well, well we got two more portages. One one and a half more big laps. Still a long way to go. They'll be team teammates together. They'll go to national training camps together. I'm not sure if they're club mates. No, I've no idea of the relationship. Uh, I'm not sure of, of, of the club the politics. But I know the relationships aren't always all sweetness and light among the girls in the Hungarian team. In this space, I think a lot of it gets forgotten. You're, you're now in a situation where you've, we've, we've got half an hour of racing to come. You're up against one of the legends of the game here. Dave, you're talking about, you're married, right? What? You are married. Yeah, for now. And you're thinking that women forget animosities from the past? You know better <laughs> than that. That doesn't happen. You can get animosities dragged up from 20, 30 years ago. You're, you're, you're in cuckoo land, man. If you're sharing the water with one of the legends of the game, and Vanda's earned that right. I mean, she, she's up there with the Roger Federer's of this world. I mean, Absolutely. She, she's, she's one of yep. the defining characters of the sport in, in our generation. Are you able to comfortably bin that to the back of your mind? Here I am in the hot end of the world championships up against one of the very best who's still racing in her prime. Does that affect you at all? Or are you able to say, this is what I was in for? I actually want to beat the best in the heat of battle. Both those ladies want to win this. There's, there's no doubt. There's Anderson down to 60 meters now. So 15 meters, three lengths, roughly. That gap has closed on this straight. I, and that yeah. was not the turbo charge we saw from her taking her to gold medal just a couple of days ago. Us second guessing what these ladies are thinking is us suggesting that we understand women, Dave, and that all the evidence goes against that. Yeah, we're stepping into a minefield yeah. here. Again, Down go Kahami's paddles. They just need to keep tabs on the gap behind them, which is now sub 60 meters. For the first time in a long time, we started with a 75 meter. We've got a 20 meter closed. That gap has closed 20 meters on this straight. That's significant. It's definitely a significant visual as far as Anderson is concerned. She feels very much much more connected with these two now than she did at the start of this lap. Paddler Brett coming up with a comment reviewing Beaker's swim, just saying if you've got a paddle grip locator on your preferred strong hand, that'll never happen. There's no chance of grabbing the blade and getting the feather on end. It's not efficient having it on the shaft. It's, I think it's definitely more efficient to have 
your shaft Every, of choice. Everyone likes the, the paddle how, how they like it. And uh, you, you, know, you come back to my the invention we talked about yesterday. If you have that, the paddle never rolls away from you in the first place. So your paddle is always where you want it. When you leave a paddle to its own devices, it will always roll away from you. So you've always got to be holding it or in contact with it, otherwise it goes to where you don't want it. So there's, that's just the design and the nature of a paddle, is that it rolls. Yeah. And yeah, it's how you solve that problem, whether you put a grip, a locator, something that stops it rolling. Mostly you just have a feel for it. And it could be a, a feels a, kind of a magic thing. It could be a strip of tape, just reminding you where your where your hand should be sitting, where your finger should be sitting. Yeah, I'm not sure that gives you the rotational aspect. It, it's more that's more the the, the longitudinal aspect, the, the roll of tape that you see around it. And I, I don't know. I mean, 99.9 percent .9 of people don't get it wrong at the point that counts, but. You're under load, you're under strain, it's fatigue, it's rush, it's it's everything going on around you. And it's fundamentally it's unlucky. It, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's it's for somebody of the, yeah. of that high level it's just extraordinarily bad luck. It's and significantly uh, and you can, the next two laps yeah. are going to include lapping boats and yeah, let's just hope that that doesn't become a factor at either I mean of the turn see how slow some of those boats are moving if you get lap you just get cut one big lap short at the end they bring you in so that we don't have massive weight for tail enders you just don't let you finish the full course so i think that's nicely managed that side of the sport Kisley having a little chat to Kyle me on the water there. Gap remains 50 metres and then another couple of hundred back to Rebecca Mann. Oh, the thoughts in that head now. Yeah, I think she might have processed what's happened and she's got two options. She could, she could just coast home and feel sorry for herself or she could just come back and show more of what she's won so many fans for. The way she's raced and the determination and yeah. not being phased by the company she's in at all. She's been full value for, for what we've seen today. Yeah, you definitely have to. Yeah, if you have another race next week, you'd, her name's on the on the sharp list, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, she was good on the short course last year as well, but I don't I don't have much recollection of her in the long race last year. Interesting numbers on screen. That last portage was five seconds faster than any of her previous portages for Amos Kohalmi. Wanda comes to the front. I guess there's a question over accuracy of that, but yeah, yeah, it's five seconds is how dramatic. They, how they measure it, but when you compare those portage times to what was it yesterday for the um, Ukrainian C1, one minute twelve <laughs> or something? It was over the minute, wasn't yep. it? And you realise how good these ladies are at running with the boat you know, to to run alongside you see it in the feeding lane sometimes when the the second is trying to keep up with them while they put their drink on yeah. it's not an easy thing to do and it's a huge responsibility i mean if anyone offers you that job your first thought is no really because you don't you don't want to be the one that mucks it up it's highly skilled and the athletes all have someone they trust to do that I have seen those feeding lanes officials doing their warm-up runs before their athlete gets to the portage <laughs> to make sure that they don't get dropped. Stretching their hammies, yeah. putting their spikes on. <laughs> it, is a, it is a skill. There's Anderson just behind now. The gap still I, 50 metres. Your track track gap is 50. I think she might be closing that. I think she is closing it, but we're, we're one long lap to go. It's still a big job to do. But and this has been a measured rotation of the pull yeah. from the two Hungarians. Nobody has been wheel spilling it to try and put any stress yeah. on Anderson. I think they're confident that if she burns enough matches to catch up to them, that they've got what it takes to get away as needed. Hungarian coaching team on the bikes on the side of the river. Kisley, the defending champion, Kahalmi, looking up to her seconding team on the bikes. 
Team instructions. At what stage do the personal instructions supersede the team instructions? Any time now. Round, round about now. The Funk Soul brother. Kahalmi comes to the front. Hungary looking set to stretch their lead at the top of the medal table. Forty-one meters on your screen, fifty-one on mine. I'm not sure who's right there. I, you're, I would, you're going I, for the forty-one. I would go with you? the forty, just based on the visual we got yeah. from the drone shot a little bit earlier. And I do believe that this showdown that we have so enjoyed would benefit from a finish that included Melinda Anderson putting serious pressure on the two Hungarians. These two just want to be left alone yes. now. They want to be left alone to race each other. And I think they're not going to have that luxury for the whole of that last big lap. They'll see Anderson when they go around the turn at the top. And it is going to be closer. So what's the deal? Do they continue to rotate the pull and work together until the bottom oh, yeah. turn can on the last long lap? And make it the last return lap in a short lap, perhaps? Because yeah, there's, they, they, there's got to be a stage where either somebody takes the initiative what, what or that happens. dialogue on the water can say, hey. You trade the lead one for one until one of you thinks, you know what, no more. Then you take the lead and the next time your mate comes around the outside of you, you just, no. Yeah. You, you pick a point where overtaking is no longer an option and you go, right, from this point on, I stay ahead. And you need That's to do it 30 seconds before they do. <laughs> yeah, and you don't know when they're, you know, as those. I'm sure MS will not cut the corner to the boys. She has it's only been Kisley that hasn't been cutting out straight to the boys. So Kisley will be a bit frustrated that she's having to do this this time with Kahalmi. What we need considerable rainfall yesterday as well, so there's a chance right. that the river flow is actually even stronger than it was earlier in the week. Where yeah, no. my gap on my computer now is down to 34 meet. There it is. That is definitely, oh, she's back in the game. Definitely a shrunken gap. We have a game on. Anderson oh, word. has now reeled herself right back into contention. <laughs> this is going to be a cracker final lap. Here we go. And on the turn, they will have had a chance to see yeah. that out of the corner of their eyes. And I think the game plan has changed here. It's one full lap. Is there enough gas in the tank to actually up at 10%? This is not enough. The Hungarians are definitely upping the intensity on this down yep. lap. But Anderson will be really heartened by what she sees now. I think, I think she ran that portage really well. You gotta feel like she must feel like she's in with a little bit more chance this time. Vanda pumping frantically in her boat. Kisley just coming round to the left side. So Kisley's already planning for the last entry to the portage. 
when she comes around that side. There's no other reason to drop from right to left other than that she wants to be that side for later on in this race. So that's how far ahead you, you, she's thinking already. And it's that degree of thought and that degree of planning that, that it all adds up in the end. Either that or Kahami throws up a load of water with her right paddle that ends up in your lap and not so much on the left. And Kisley doesn't want to empty out again. At, but she won't have come from right to left for no reason. The gap remains small, 30 meters. And shrinking. So Vanda's either got a small leak, a pump that's not functioning properly, and they do, they wait for the yeah. big race to stop functioning yeah. properly. Or there's a lot of water just being thrown from the proximity of where it can only be Kohalmi. That's who she's had for the last two laps. Yeah. And maybe it's Kahami's right-hand paddle because Kisley's chosen to swap sides. But that gap's going to close, isn't it? It is going to close. You can see the big, smooth waves out to the right. You can see, like, four big waves out to that right-hand side. The beauty of those waves for overtaking is those diagonal waves travel slower than the boats that are creating them. The waves she's cut trying to climb over directly behind them, they travel at the same speed as the boats. So if you go out to the side, you can, like a surfer, you can surf in, overtake a wave, surf in, overtake a wave. So it's a, an easier catch up out to the side, which is why you see that done fairly frequently in these races. But this, this gap is going to close. And you know what it's going to come down to? Final portage. Yep. After all this, it's going to come down to final portage. And I think Anderson will back herself on a final portage. Rethinking that last portage, given that Vanda had to stop and empty, Kohalmi had a chance to put a lot more space or a lot more pressure on Vanda if she wanted to, but she didn't. O she of the three, Kohalmi is the least comfortable running. She's yes, still I get a, She's that. still a good runner. She's, yeah, she's definitely not down in the average or below average category, but the other two are well above average. So Kohalmi just isn't quite as comfortable running as the other two. If there was ever a time to pull an Ed Moses portage out of a hidden drawer, well, well, that was the time for I mean, Ed to Moses, do it. That's a that's a that's a age-related quote, isn't it? I mean, how many people here racing are even going to know who Ed <laughs> Moses is? <laughs> Says he who came up with flock of seagulls. Come on. <laughs> Well, I'm not saying we're not both <laughs> chucking out age-related references, but... Okay, you're Usain Bolt Portage. Is that a little yeah. bit closer? Yeah, that's... Yeah. Well, Melinda Anderson would do well. That's the quickest time on that last lap. Melinda Anderson would be do well to pull out her Usain Bolt Portage on this one because it's going to be a... She, the way she's going right now, she will have caught them by that portage. In fact, she might even have caught them by the bottom turn. That will spice things up just nicely, thank you. These two still have the option of going over speed, though, because they've got the rest to fall back on if they go over speed. Anderson doesn't have an over speed option. She's just got, at this stage, the one, the one crawling back speed that's sufficient for her. If it's enough, it's enough. If it's not, it's not. But these two do have the option of a minute each super hard just to expand the gap again, just before they get to that final portage. They, yeah. need, they need a 10 second gap, don't they? Which will be the handoff that yeah. will keep her out of the picture. Yeah. But it definitely looks like Anderson's Anderson on, on has the done return. a great job in, in closing out what I think we had written off as an insurmountable gap. Ai Ohashi is going to be ending her race a lap early. So about five lengths, the difference now. There it is. And every time they do a changeover like that where the front person drops back, that's another length gained for Anderson. She's taken the opportunity to up her pace slightly, and now she can feel the waves off the back of these two. The difference being is that Kisley has now taken up the pull with intensity, rather than just ticking yeah, away at race pace. Anderson's within wave, yep. wave distance. It's like getting the draft in your Formula One. Once you're within that certain distance, those waves become increasingly helpful. And I think the mental boost of having accomplished... Is it ever? 
We need the thought bubbles again here. This is some. This race has some level of at some stage now. in the next minute. You're going to see one of these two look over their shoulders, and there's going to be a they already know. They already know. The bother said poo bubble yeah. will come up there because this is not the way they wanted to end this race. They thought it was going to be a, a managed race for gold. It's not. There it is. There it is. Those are the three medals in your picture. Who says marathon racing is not exciting? Nobody ever this said is, that, Dave. Like Nobody a, ever said that. It's like a thriller. And Anderson's coming back hard on the left. This is her charge to try and get onto it the is. wave. She wants to do it before the turn. And, Way she has before, and she's it. going to do yeah. it. Oh, my word. Here we Con go. Game on. Ah, what a magnificent comeback. Game on. And there was a little glance over the shoulder saying, really? <laughs> Ouch. Right, this this race has got a totally new complexion so now. We're down to the final portage. I don't think that will please Vanda. <laughs> you don't? Of the three in the bunch. Oh, oh, Hashi. Argentinian needs to move right a little bit there, I think. There we go. That's a chance for her fan club who have been so vocal in the comments column. The Vamos Leila Hughes fan club. There only, she is. You only have to clip that bit and you're That's it. in the leading four yeah. of the world championship. You can frame that and make a poster yep. big enough to put on your lounge wall. Beautiful picture. Into the turn. Anderson having to grab her way around the boy. She's cramped on the inside, but she's fine now. She wants to make her presence felt. She could do it now. I was going to say it wouldn't be, wouldn't do her any harm to go to the front and slow things down at this stage. Wow. This is, you know, yeah, we haven't seen a race <laughs> this tense for a long time. Last year. We were just commenting on Kisley on her own out the front. Go on, Anderson, go on. That's what? a chance. Wow. In fact, that's what okay. they... Okay, this is... That's... Uh, oh. And Kohalmi's going to have to come around the back. That is an error from the Hungarians. The fight back is complete. She's now pulling the bunch as they come into the portage. My guess is that Anderson won't relinquish that lead all the way to the portage. Well, given, given her portage ability, there's every chance yeah, that she will open that lead on the run. I think that's a crazy move by both Hungarians there. And it's not far to the portage. They could, no. they, they could have maintained the front and blocked her out going into the run. Suddenly, she's holding all the cards. That, yeah. If Anderson Kuhal wins this race, Kuhal they will look back at that moment and say, you know what? I made a mistake. Kisley will back herself trying to match her on the portage. I don't know if Kohalmi can. And that dice up to the top turn can is going to be key. It's on the short lap now, remember? This is the final portage coming in. Of the three... The, the big battle here will be the race to, for the lead-in for the portage. And then you'll see who's got speed. And it's... I don't know. If you lose and that I'm race to, to the I'm portage, you're, there's trouble. I'm going to circle back to a discussion we had earlier. Of the three, Anderson has got the quickest put in. She's got the quickest portage run. Yeah. And if she can get to the portage first, get a clear run on the portage, put together her blitz sprint and get a high speed put in and take away, she could win this race on the portage. Yep. Agreed. This time, a lap ago, she was hoping. She's actually made it happen. It's spectacular. But that's your podium in the picture. Brilliant race this is. Kisley being kept honest against the reeds on the right by Anderson. 
one of those Hungarians, and I think I think it'll be Kahalmi will take her on just before the portage. Kisley will try. I think Kahalmi might succeed in getting past her just before the portage. But letting her lead just seems such a dangerous move. Melina Anderson. And I've got to say, I've just looked out the back window of our port here. The big crowd which is gathered in the sunshine is on the edge of their seats watching the big screen here. It's just turned out to be an absolute thriller of a women's K1 race. Portage time. Yeah. And it's Anderson and with the option to make all the choices. Into the back. This is just, I don't know. It's so hard to fathom what's happening here. Tactically, the Hungarians are being subjugated by the Swede. Currently, yes. And that, to me, is not the personality of the athlete Van der Kisley. I think she's going to have to do something very bold in the next minute. Because right now, she can't do she's a second-class citizen. She can't do anything bold from there. She has to wait for gaps to open up, mistakes to be made. Her, her option is that if... Kahalmi goes and takes on Anderson head to head. There's a beautiful wave between the two of them. So she has to get on that, miss out all the effort of the sprint in, and then hope that that pays off later. But from where she is now, she's a passenger. She's not in a dictator's role there. Not. Kahalmi knows her running's going to come up short. And Anderson, Anderson just knows she can run. I don't. Why, why we're seeing what we're seeing now? It all comes back to that soft takeover at the bottom turn when they let Anderson take the lead. In fact, from this shot, Brett has just picked it up as well. Okay, Van Kisley's Van gone out to the side now. That's her option to get to the front. She can't Van come through. Vanda pumping as she goes in there, just to make. She, if she is carrying water, she does not. She does not have the luxury of stopping to empty a boat here. Yeah, the body language of Anderson is upbeat now. Anderson, Kohalmi, Kisley, this race-defining final portage yeah, now just feels, seconds away. It feels like we're going to get the same result as we did in the short course at this stage, which is in the order they are now. Oh, it's tense. It's can cut the atmosphere here at the finish with a knife. It's always more effective than a fork for that job anyway. <laughs> I don't know why they say that, because you're going to cut everything with a knife, or scissors. I mean, but you're never going to cut anything with a spoon, are you? You were taking a twitch towards my birthday cake. Step down. Anderson. Come on, here we go. He's got to kick Kahami. off any Kisley's minute. trying to make a move up on the inside. Kisley's, Kisley's the trying to up. find Anderson's some water. Anderson's taking the speed up. All three are matching Kisley's initial burst. Anderson, if anything, is getting away as they come into the portage, which is just around the corner. Kisley looks to be under strain there. Anderson dominant at the moment. Melina Anderson holding all the cards. See that little upturn in speed on the graph there. And we're gonna, it's going to kick off any second now. Strap yourselves down. This is going to be such a great portage. Boom. Kisley goes left. It didn't really kick off in the entry to that portage, which might mean Anderson's speed was just too high. Kohalmi's cramped. Oh, Anderson no. gets away it's super clean. There it? goes Melina Anderson. This is exactly what she wanted. She sprints away. The Hungarians can only watch as the Swede takes off in the distance. You know she's going to get in her boat quicker than the other two. Kahalmi's hurting. But she's not gaining too much. Kisley's still with her. Kahalmi's in trouble there. Now it all comes down to the put-in. Anderson Anderson's goes right. The, the boat's moving. Great put-in. Super fast. Vanda is not matching it. It's a pedestrian put-in. There's the gap. Anderson's away. That's closable. She's still in touch. 
but the entrance to that portage suggests that Anderson can just ratchet up the speed to a point where the others do not feel they can overtake her. One short lap. Well, we didn't see this coming three laps ago. No. It's down to two in my books. Kohalmi is just a spectator to yeah, what is happening on in the tail already. Wanda's caught up. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be a mind bending so it's final. It's come down to the one on one between the two big names. As we predicted from the start, but we didn't predict what we've been watching this whole race. It's a slightly different race to the one anyone would have expected. The defending champion up against the short course champion. We know they've both got turbos. It's a matter of when they fire them and whether there's enough fuel in the tank to be able to keep that turbo going for that short lap. Kisley comes Wonder. up. She's making a run for the side wash as we see her now. You can just hear in the background under Kisley's fans. Because he might, yes, she does want to go straight past. This could be She's going into a the potential lead. race winning move right there. Has Anderson burned too many matches on that lap six grind back onto the front bunch? It's very, very hard to overtake when you're as tired as these ladies are. So Kisley's done the job there, puts herself very much in control now of who of the winner. Oh, I'm talking rubbish at the minute. Sorry, Dave, I've lost the plot. So Kizzy very much has put herself in a commanding position there. Bottom turn to come. The short turn, it's a tight turn around these cans. Anderson is keeping herself in contention by staying on Van der Kisley's wave. Yeah, they're, they're only going to finish half a length apart, but the half a length currently is in favor of Kisley. Again, it's going to be fatigue dependent. If somebody can find some adrenaline laced reserves of fuel to fire the turbos for the 60 seconds between the bottom turn and the finish line. Favouring Kisley at this stage. Wanda is looking strong. Is she carrying water in that boat? She didn't empty on the portage. We hope not. Wanda looks over to see where Anderson is. Do not is. let her pass at this stage. <laughs> Don't, don't even think there about it, surely. Three quick looks, jittery looks from Wanda as they come into the turns. This is the bottom turn. Five boys, and then we have a flat out sprint to define you, you the 2024 champion. You would think that Wanda would keep Anderson pinned against the bank going upstream. Anderson will probably want to duck out to the left hand side to make sure she's got space. And when do you cut into the finish line? This is the gamble, the roll of the dice that we've seen in all the races over the previous two days. Anderson persisting on that right side. There's no overtaking option on that right side because Kisley can just move right at any point. So Kisley's happy there. That's a nice situation for Kisley. So if you're Kisley now, you go up so, so far before you move out for the, for the finish. You've got to go you right to the portage takeout. Even further, even further. And you can come out close the door at on a the really portage. steep angle. You could almost close the yeah. door on the portage All jetty. The, so Anderson's got to be thinking ahead. All the time Anderson's on her right, Kisley has total control over her. Here goes Anderson. Kisley sees it. No. Oh my Anderson's word, she's just going, going up on the inside. Right. Close her out. There's the turbo. She's fired the afterburners and she started to take a line into the finish. The turbo oh, has catapulted Sweden in. To Anderson. Who thought she had the reserves after that lap six fight back? There's so many takeaways from this race and the way it's been run. Uh, and I, there's resignation in the paddle stroke from Van der Kisley. I think Kisley will what? absolutely look back on this and think she threw away at least two golden opportunities to win this. And that's your 2024 okay. camp champion. What a fight back. What a finish. What a race. Melina Anderson for Sweden claims it. Probably the greatest moments of her life. Van der Kisley coasts Brilliant. home in second. Well Brilliant. beaten on the day.
outsmarted, outthought, outmuscled. Unbelievable. Congratulations from two spectacular athletes. What a compelling sports spectacle. Unbelievable. I will definitely yeah, go back through that video and see some pivotal moments in what happened there. Kahalmi just came up short on that last portage. She would have had a strong sprint finish. She would have been in contention had she been there, but they outran her on the portage. She's settling for a bronze medal, and it's a good bronze medal. It's a great behind bronze those medal. Two. It's a race that wow. won't be forgotten for decades. It's just, and a man to come in four. There's, there's another... Uh, uh, That's a story in itself, isn't it? They call uh, it the chocolate medal or the plastic medal, but wow, she's really put her hand up here. Yeah. So the same three ladies on the podium as we had for the short course. Slightly different order. I think... There she comes. Brilliant. Rebecca Mann. Bex. Still fighting it right to the end. There's got to be some frustration in there. But she also needs to take away a lot of pride from what she's done today. Heaps. Heaps. She's factored herself into the list that gets your highlighter on the start list now. Yep. She really has. Congratulations, Bex. <laughs> what a race. Collectively, the crowd here can actually start to breathe because I sense that this has been no place for anybody with pacemaker problems here. It's been an absolute thriller. What a, what a treat these people have had in the seats in the stands. That, well, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you unpack all of that? I mean, so much happened. Her body language was so negative at some points in that race. Yeah. When she was on the wash of Rebecca Mann, she kind of given it up, it felt like. Then it came back to her because of the emptying out from Vanda on the portage, because potentially her pump wasn't working. Who knows? So we got Osa and Bedok in shot there. But, yeah, wow. Leela Hughes fan club, take a photo. Kahalmi and Kisley, maybe they could have worked a bit stronger together to pull out a minute's lead instead of the 40 seconds they had at one point True. or whatever distance it was. I, I just missed opportunities, a race of missed opportunities, I think. Well, you want a video to show your youngsters about race tactics? There's heaps you well, can extract from you that. You can unpack a lot from that race. That's for sure. So the uh, four boats that have uh, finished already will go through boat control and then make their way down to the interview area. And Ivan, I might thrust you into that interview because there's so much I'd love to ask and unpack well, and it's so decode. Hard. Yeah, you, we've, we, yeah, the interviews are tough because there's so many questions you want to ask and yeah, how they feel about it and what we saw, that can differ massively. Yeah, we're, we're just making it up, really. We, we say what we see. We make judgment calls on how we think things are going. Oh, so having a little shot at Bedek, but it's not going to be enough there. Winter Milova finished. Osa Bedek. Wow. Being cheeky here. You want to advert for the, the inclusion of marathon as a spectacle that can hold your attention oh. relentlessly for two hours. There it is. I've got a message from Rennie Larson, who we've talked about on the yeah, the ledge before. He knows a lot about the sport, but he's trying to claim some sort of link to Melina Anderson's <laughs> victory here by saying she trained at Silkeborg a few weeks ago. I mean, that's a tenuous link, Rene. I, don't, I really think you're pushing it a bit, and I don't think that you can really claim any part of Molina's uh, victory there. I think that's more to do with her than you. Sorry, Rene, but you, you can't you can't claim that one. You've just fallen off the Christmas card list. <laughs> <laughs> Van Voorst there. She's had a good weekend. She was good yesterday in the under-23. She's done well again today. Osa from Spain, kind of mid-pack, the big 
I know there's always there's always people who leave the race upset today and you're looking probably at Burkitt, Mackenzie, Barrios as three names that you would like to have seen up there for a lot longer and none of them had the day they wanted. Yeah, you get a feeling that the senior women's marathon landscape has changed this year. It's 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 exciting. It's very healthy. It's yeah. Beautiful picture of the Naretva Valley. It is quite nice here, isn't it? It's beautiful. It really is. It's rugged. It's very harsh. It's shaly, stony. Good so wine-growing country for those of you that are into that particular game. Anderson Kisley, Kahami man.